Adam Longo has been pressing government leaders for answers since this crisis began. Adam. All right, so Bruce, here's who I've talked to first over the past few days. IRS workers in our area, in Austin, Texas, in suburban Atlanta, Georgia, in Brookhaven, New York. Also, the union president who represents those employees and 150,000 federal workers. Let me be as blunt as possible. IRS workers are at risk. They spent today working in buildings with thousands of other people and handling mail from the general public. Now, an infectious disease specialist told me a few days ago that coronavirus can live on paper from three to nine days. I got this video from an IRS worker in Georgia who wants to remain anonymous for obvious reasons. And look, it's business as usual there. I'm being told there's an absence of leadership and a complete lack of guidance within the IRS offices and very few, if any, preventative measures are being taken. Now, the tax filing deadline for Americans is April 15th, so just about a month away. There's a big push right now to get the tax filing deadline moved to October 15th. Remember, if you request an extension to file your taxes, they'll give you six months until October 15th. So far, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has only said if you owe taxes, they're going to give you a three-month extension on paying. The union president says people coming into work will not help flatten the curve. The government's not doing that by requiring these employees to go to workplaces where there are more than 50 people. They have got to change course on this because it is, it is wrong to do to these people, to do to their families and their loved ones. Where, where those individuals are having to work in, whether it's in call sites or in service centers where there are large numbers of people, and, and in some cases thousands of people, um, obviously they are at risk. Reardon tells me the union has a movement. It's up on Facebook right now. I shared it on my Facebook page, Adam Longo TV, to force federal buildings hosting more than 50 workers to close down. And listen, Reardon and the NTEU, not the only ones calling for the tax filing deadline to be delayed six months. The House Ways and Means Committee, they want to hear from the IRS commissioner. The American Institute of CPAs wants answers as well. And the National Society of Accountants wants the tax filing season extended. Things are changing day to day, Bruce. We're going to see if the folks at the top are listening. Yeah, this goes back, though, to what you've already reported. They've left it up to the agencies to decide as opposed to an order from up top, right? Well, as far as the guidance goes from the IRS right now, they have to keep those people in the offices if the tax filing deadline remains the same. Unless they change it, no way for those workers to sort through those returns at home. They're going to have to continue coming into the office. That's not going to help solve the coronavirus crisis. All right, Adam, thanks a lot. Good stuff.